Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Gold, my Mono Dark Run. And it's time to continue our quest to finish off Team Rocket. Unfortunately, this is usually a pretty tedious quest, what can I say? Team Rocket doesn't like to go down easy, and it loves to slug things out slowly and painfully. By having tons of rats, coughings, and everything else they can throw at you in the way. Including the kitchen sink. Sadly, this isn't Lapu Salt Tactics where that's actually funny, since there's a character that actually will throw the kitchen sink at you. Ugh. Still got a lot of crud in my throat. But, you know... Maybe I should get some water after this. <laughs> Soda's not helping that much. Ugh, jeez. Oh, I can get them where I want. I just have to open the last one first, and the next one, and the next one, so, you know, working my way backwards. It's pretty easy to get the shutters the way you want them to. The annoying part, you know, is, um, going through you guys. Because you like to drag this stuff out way too long. Oh, I see what you did there. Well, too bad. Darn it, I failed. Okay, try this again. Damn you, fail percentage on Screech. Oh no! Poison gas! I'm not sure I'm carrying an antidote for that. Damn it! Well, at least it happened to my least useful, um, ally for the battles that, I suppose, but still. Hurts the pride a bit, you know? Yeah, I'll change. Okay, get in there, Lacey. It's time to burn another coughing. Let's ignite those gases. Ah, uh, it's only level 23. That's disappointing. Jeez. Well, that takes care of that guy. Thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye, but no. At least nothing important. And I guess we'll go with a bite. I don't see the point of using faint attack when it's basically as powerful as bite attack anyway. But I haven't had any accuracy losses. Yeah, so we can try and go with a flinching technique. Just in case it's necessary, but I seriously doubt it would be. Oh, I am carrying an antidote. I haven't been buying that many healing items in this game. So far. I'm usually just too over-leveled to need it. I'm not confounded by the shutters, so do me a favor and shut up about them. Seriously. <laughs> I think I can just barely see Charizard in the background there. Sadly, doesn't look like any of the Mausers are up and playing, though. That's kind of boring. Um, Screech, then you go with the Shadow Ball, I guess. Hopefully that's enough. Darn it! I mean, it's not guaranteed to poison me, but still. <sighs> I really don't want to get hit with that status effect again, since I don't have any more antidotes. And I've been pretty much avoiding berries. Like the plague, because they take up item slots, but they're not usually that useful. Fury swipes, eh? No. Unless you have a special that lets Fury swipes hit five times or something, there's no reason to use Fury swipes, like, ever. Like, all the, like the way it's set up, like it would do less damage than if I used, you know, Headbutt, usually. Or Shadow Ball, or any of the other physical attacks I have. Like, it's just got no real utility for me. Eh, hopefully that's enough. Nope, even with 15 levels, it still wasn't enough to kill it in the first shot. Darn. But wasted its time on that physical defense upgrade, considering, you know, everything I got is special. 
Most of my enemies, enemies using like worthless moves like that. Like know what your target's capable of, then start doing buffs and debuffs. You know. Well, this doesn't matter so much for debuffs, but de for buffs it definitely matters. Now nah, leave it alone. And that uh, open the way. Oh yeah, this guy's probably gonna have fire type Pokemon knowing my look, so let's switch to Lacey so we can just tank those fire attacks. What was the point of this project anyway? Besides being a mildly annoying puzzle. I mean, were they gonna store a lot of valuables here? And who would set up a storage facility where you have to go through other people's valuables to get to your own? That would be completely ridiculous. Eh, to each their own, I guess, but still. That decision makes no sense. Especially if you think of it in a real world context. But even in a video game context, it's not very good. Because <sighs> at least in a video game context, you wouldn't be able to take stuff that isn't yours, probably, unless you were a thief. Which means you can get around that stuff. And Burglar Eddie is taken care of. Or if he has buddies named Ed and Ed, Ed and Eddie as well. Darn it! No, you're not allowed to evolve. Three more levels to go. Uh, getting close, at least. Why don't you fork over your goodies? Jeez, oh, Duncan, huh? Does he have the Clan McLeod? A lot of morals from the Clan McLeod. Kind of crazy how many McClouds are immortal. Connor, Duncan, Quentin, some other character from the, um, anime OVA they did. Yeah, there's a Highlander anime. Um, it's like an hour and a half long or so, something like that. I've watched it before, it wasn't that bad. But I suppose someone pointed out it definitely takes a few liberties with the um, franchise, considering it has um, reincarnation in it. But, you know, I'm okay with that. I mean, you got magical people that can, you know, come back to life if they get shot to death. I can't really call BS on people being reincarnated every now and again. Not really. <sighs> Jeez. These fights are so boring, it's putting me to sleep. Somebody challenge me, please! <sighs> At this rate, I'm gonna get the Claire and I'll be bored out of my mind. And she's at least got a hard counter to at least some of my Pokemon. You know, I can't really use Lenore since some of her Pokemon have like Ice Beam and stuff or Thunderbolt. That's the real power of um, Dragonair, it's um. utility with its diverse moveset. Ah, yes, her. Something to be scared about, eh? What? You gonna bore me to death? Do you have 9,999,000 Pokemon or something? So this battle will take me literally all eternity to finish? Didn't think so. Ugh. Guess you're not gonna scare me with a like, gloom. I mean, between Lenore and Lacey, I have plenty of ways of dealing with your overgrown plant. And unless it's gonna plant some evidence on me of doing hard drugs and get me in trouble off the law, I ain't worried about it. <sighs> what, I could see Gloom being related to drug manufacture somehow. I mean as it stands we know it's related to producing um perfume. I can see someone huffing that stuff. People hum <sighs> not hum, hump spray cans and stuff, so... yeah. I guess he's someone doing that with, um, perfume from a gloom or something. And I 
can't dodge anyone in here. Damn it. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, Brucey? Ugh, I've heard it all before. You got something inspiring to say, you know, or something that get me pumped up a little bit for the battle? No? Well... Okay, just let me crush you to death, okay? Ugh. Need something with more sugar in it. Or caffeine. Or both. <sighs> well, at least it's a goal bat this time. <sighs> well, fan attack again. There's <sighs> a change of our tactics. Not against stuff this week. Ooh, it actually took it. It survived an attack. But, I can counter it. It's confusion with switching out, like usual. Eh, uh, moderate damage, maybe. But Leech Light's pretty weak, you know, so... Don't expect too much out of it. Well... That takes care of that issue. Blast it? You've seen Blast? Huh. <laughs> I don't even know what Blast looks like. Thing I don't follow the One Punch manga that, um... Regularly, in fact, not at all, but I still remember reading about how he's missing. Yeah. The legendary hero has been lost for some time now. When are you coming back, Blast? The answer is potentially never. Eh, he's got to pop up at some point. Hopefully. Maybe he'll fight Saitama and reveal he's really a villain or something, I don't know. Now, yeah, as long as Saitama's around, you don't really need Blast, do you? After all, Saitama's the eponymous One Punch Man. Oddly enough, I did pick up the English dubbing of that um, anime, but I've never watched it. I mean, I've watched the sub version, but I haven't watched the dub despite owning a copy of it for months now. I don't know if it's because the show's um, quite memorable, or... If I just don't want to have to sit down and watch the show again at this point, and just wanted to support it in my own way, you know, and that was about all I really cared to do, and I just don't care about watching it again. <sighs> well, I'm sure eventually I'll get a second season. Hi, right, get this far? Well, because you guys suck, that's how. But, you won't prove me wrong, you can try. <sighs> you you saw me get over this yawn first, I'm sorry. Your picking Pokemon was so... tediously boring. Would you care to make a more inspired pick next time? And I don't care of what, really, just something a bit more... less obvious, maybe. Well, we're closing in on our, um, target level for evolving. Just two more to go. Two more to go. <sighs> Won't be too much longer, we'll have brought our, um, move list together, alright. Oh, well, takes care of that problem. Yeah, I suppose it'd be quite easily. What can I say? Most you Team Rocket members are just complete and utter trash. You think you guys would train harder, but no. They're terrible. Yeah, I came to rescue you, man. Nothing good. Okay. I have the card key now. <sighs> oh, don't worry, I'm gonna help. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Don't call in the police. Call in some random trainer you don't even know the name of. That's how all crimes stopped in this universe, right? 
Kind of sad, isn't it? Okay. I think the basement's open um, to various extents, depending on how many times you visit it or something weird like that, or time of day, so... It's possible to get all the items down there if you're patient, I guess, but... I don't care to be that patient. And it's not really worth it, in my opinion. Even if they were good items, I probably still wouldn't care. Yeah, we'll switch items for now. I don't think I really need enhanced fire attacks for any of the targets coming up. Okay. Should I heal? Maybe. Will I? No. <sighs> Bit sloppy on my movements there, I suppose. Sadly, we're gonna have to confront some people regardless of what I'd like. I like to get up to the top and just fight the executives, but no! I gotta deal with these grunts as well, darn it. And they're trashy Pokemon. Of course they have something to do with it. Why else would I just walk straight through after it opened? Jeez. Now that they use boring Pokemon, they're dumb as bricks. <sighs> Oh look, another freaking Raticade. I know, I know, it's the same thing every time, but... Seriously, Team Rocket, you know, their goal is stealing all the world's Pokémon, at least the strong ones, should have a lot more diversity on their teams than, you know, like, rats and poison types and stuff like that. Like, I want to see something more creative, like have them have a Charmander or a Bulbasaur or a Lapras. Heck, throw a Delibird in there just as a joke and have it toss presents. Heck, make it mean by having to have a guaranteed, you know, hardest hitting present possible every time it attacks you or something. That way, you know, you, people learn to respect Delibird a bit. Okay, that still wouldn't make people respect Delibird because it's kind of useless. Having only really one move. Ah, oh, now what? Fortress, eh? Well, I'm sorry to say it, the fortress is gonna burn a lot. Um, why do you call that if you have a gold bat anyway? Why not you having an actual fortress, or maybe a steelix, or a golem? And don't tell me members of Team Rocket wouldn't trade with each other. Or they could trade two Gravelers with each other and be like, now I got a more powerful Graveler. Okay, flamethrower. Go with a powerful fiery stab. Might want to hold on to a few of those, but, you know, I'm not too worried about it. At least we're almost done here. Jeez. Now what? Oh, I remember ya. I just don't really care. At least you're packing, you know, some actual dark types on your team. Or at least one dark type. And she's got some fully evolved Pokemon, so that's a plus two. Okay, Flamethrower. Let's have some Charbroiled Snake, people. Rat? Seriously, you're going with Rat. All the moves you can use, you go with rap. <sighs> Come on. Get serious. If that's your best move, you're just screwed. No one's afraid of rap anymore. <sighs> it's not like the old days where a move like that would stop you from attacking all the kill if you got hit by it. That's when it was scary, man. Well, let's have some fried Murkrow legs. I hear it tastes like chicken. Yeah, I know, we can't really cup and eat our opponent's Pokemon. It's a sad truth, because some of them do make me hungry. And you're going to finish things off with a Vileplume. 
Well, it could be a worse pick, I suppose. But the fact it's vulnerable to fire means it's got very few options here to survive with. Ugh. Well, I take care of that. So close. Just one more level to go. One more level. <sighs> Not interested. Okay. Yeah, I got this far quite easily, man. I don't care about your whole speech about why you're doing this. Can we just get to the part where I kick the crap out of you? And the more words out of Lahar, let's kick some angel butt. Or I guess in this case, Team Rocket butt, but still. <sighs> Jeez, the Team Rocket's so mildly annoying. I think the rockets from Rocket Power are scarier. Well, going with a faint. It's a battle of the Hound Hours, and mine's gonna win. Mainly because I got nine levels of advantage. And that's quite a bit. Especially when you're talking about the same Pokemon. Yeah, that's not gonna help you that much, man. Yeah, I guess I could have done and tried to force a few flinches. I just didn't care to. And that leaves... Coughing. Which, admittedly, I can probably just burn down real quick. And even if it survives, I can finish it off with a faint attack or something. No, I didn't think so. <sighs> well, hopefully I'll learn Crunch by the end of the, um... Battle with Claire. Houndoom, eh? Well, I think I still got the edge here. Probably. Oh, you got smog, eh? I stand corrected. Guess I'll have to hope for a flinch here. Well, at least it missed. I don't know if it makes up for that critical hit succeeding, though. Jeez, he must not have any better options if he's constantly spamming smog. And why does it keep failing? I mean, come on. That was just sad. It's one hit, they can never connect again. Oh, I'm sure they'll forgive you, because you don't even know what you were up to, man. Yeah, just get lost. Yeah, yeah. Can you just get off my case, man? I'm not interested in hunting down Lukia, so I don't even need the rainbow wing. Yeah, yeah. Just, just go away. Maybe. I don't know why Luka even drops feathers, since it doesn't seem to have any when you see it in the anime and stuff. That's very smooth-looking skin, you know? Okay, a pink bow, huh? Yeah, but I don't have any Pokémon really with normal-type moves beyond Sneasel. But I suppose an empowered headbutt would be okay. Okay. Strange broadcast, huh? No, these are none of the people I want to talk to. I'm looking for a female employee, I believe. Don't think it's you, though. Oh, she was. It's <laughs> gonna walk right past her, I think. Yep. Thank you. Well, that does it for this episode. Next time, we're going to go through the ice caves. Until then, 
See ya.